this is more about the break-in kit um, you need one of these especially if you're in the car business if um, you're a thief or <laughs> I don't know not that you can find the link to buy this kit down below just click on the read more or whatever click notifications bell and subscribe if you're not while you're there like my video too hey why not you might as well just click all kinds of stuff down there one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. and what I got here for you today some kind of a fuzzy ball on my hat is a video on a break-in kit a car break-in kit a lock kit whatever you want to call it pry bar uh, airbag all the stuff that comes with it in this video I just unlocked and moved this car that was sitting right here and I want to make sure and tell you before you watch this video just some precautions when you're shoving wedges down in your thing don't just pry on it and yank be nice and slip it in slowly you know just kind of stick it in there and slowly push it in you know and then when you're putting the air wedge in your gently don't shove it all so hard but you got to really push on that air wedge to get it down in there you're trying to watch out for the rubber molding and let me let me show you what I mean right you don't want to tear up the rubber molding that's inside the door these doors are pretty strong and snap back pretty easy the one thing that don't snap back this one, <laughs> I picked the only card ain't got it is this kind of stuff this stuff you will tip tear off rip a chunk out of and next thing you know you're going down the hair down the road going and then it's not so cool so you'll see me at one point just kind of mm, I'm putting I don't want to like just because you will damage that st weather stripping on the car and that's a problem it's big money and you don't want to have to replace that other than that these lockout kits are the way to go it's not my preferred one but the preferred one I can't carry in my car so that makes this my preferred lockout kit bam just got that last night actually blew the EGR cooler valve I don't know something on that could start blowing white smoke had to get towed back 220 miles from Manhattan Montana to Stevensville look at all these old cars I'll make you a deal anything you see that you like give me a call 406-546 8748 this is more about the break-in kit um, you need one of these especially if you're in the car business if um, you're a thief or <laughs> I don't know not that but no when you're around here you lock things and Samantha locked the keys in this here I want to say mercury all the time because it's so nice and clean that it just seems more mercury ish than Crown Vic ish because I'm used to getting the cop car I'll tell you what man this time of year here in Montana you get these little blackbirds and a whole tree up there I don't know if you can see it with this lens it's just full of them there's a hundred of them in there and they're you know a couple trees down the road I think they just left up here but yeah beautiful look at the clouds coming over the valley okay that's the braking kit that's the car problem with this one's gonna be we have tinted windows I hate that I hate that I'll slice this open and show you the kit to start that way we know what we're looking at now there's lots of kits available now this is a really good kit I've had lots of kits I've had the most expensive kits and I've had cheapity cheap kits and sometimes that's cool this one's a tea safe kit now you can find the link to buy this kit down below just click on the read more or whatever click notifications bell and subscribe if you're not while you're there like my video too hey why not you might as well just click all kinds of stuff down there leave a comment and tell me something hey this link is down there and I can't say you won't get a better kit for the money because it depends on what you're using it for but this one has all the pieces there's also I'll put a kit you know what I'm put a, um, a link to the pro and the link to the other one the other one's 20 bucks less this gives you a couple extra things for like older cars where you have a hoop to put down there and, and it kind of helps on newer cars too let me open this up and I will made in China oldest set let me open this up and I'll kind of give you a preview of the kit okay so here you are you got a couple wedges you got a, a air a air wedge I like the air wedge a long reach tool which is actually a two-piece tool in this kit now there's pros and cons I'm gonna just do it like this hang on there's pros and cons to each kit you buy this kit my favorite is the big long bar I'm gonna put a link down there too to that big long bar and you can buy the air wedges by themselves a big long bar and an air wedge I can get into almost anything 
but a big long bar almost won't fit the back seat of your truck lengthwise they're huge um, the wedges you know I don't know with this air wedge and this it makes it pretty easy the air wedge you can usually get in there just on its own this one's gonna be a little harder I think but you got the long reach tool there's the handle and then you got the actual long reach tool here that um, will screw into it um, this is cool you got the little hoopity hoop now hang on I don't know why it's still pointing at me. So you got the hoopy hoop, and you got these little marbles. The marbles! I'm gonna pry and press. Hoop. You're gonna go whoopity boop, and then whoop. We got it. Just like that. So that's a cool piece. Um, this is a cool piece for some things. I don't even know what to use that one for. What's this? An extension? I think it is. That's a super long reach tool. Wow. So two extensions. I might be able to get in with just these two. I'm going to get the wedge on the car. In fact, I might just take this red wedge over here. See if I can't get it in here. I like that. Boom. Just like that. Okay. So now let's get it a little bit more. Let's take the air wedge. I'm going to pop the air wedge in. Now I'm sure I'll get somebody to tell me how wrong I am on this. Give me a second here. I am going to... i got a wet day here. I don't want to exactly set my camera down on this wet car. But I do want to make a video. It takes a lot longer, honestly, to video some of this crap. It does actually just go in and do the job. And this one has a lot of different... Um, you got to know which um, rubber part to get under. Jeez, buddy. Let's see if we can come in from the side on this one. I like that. Okay. Let's do another one over here. Okay, we'll wedge it this way. There we go. There we go. Okay. We got so much rubber. On this thing. I don't even know how I'm gonna get there. We go. Come on. Just gotta, <laughs> just gotta shove it in there sometimes, huh? Okay. You got that. And you know, my main thing is sometimes not wanting to be too rough to the car. So I'm gonna pop this up. Now my other wedge just fell out. And with this car, I'll tell you what. This ain't a, a real dream to get into. I got the thing popped out there way. I got my long leash tool. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. I think I can do this with just one extension. And it, it screws together really easy. Which is kind of important. But I'm just gonna reach in. And I can't really film doing this. But let me show you what I got. I got it wedged open here, and I'm going to reach right through here, like so. And I doubt you're going to see this, but I'm just going to press the unlock button. And it's the first thing I always try. And I almost... Come on. Come on, I'm trying to do a video here. Help me out. <laughs> I'm going to set this down. That's another thing. I do my fence video lots of different videos and like you know it's very hard to film yourself now this one is not a bendable unit which that is what I like so much about the other one there we go we're open just like that so it took a little it took a little longer because I'm not a professional thief and I honestly I'm used to using the larger wedge. Now, let's see how badly I bent the door. Like a glove. Just the same. You'd never know. Boom. Just like that. What a deal. And now you want to make sure that you don't mess this stuff up. And I did very good at not messing this stuff up. 
So, that's your kit. These have a really little quick release valve to where you can push the air out. Put it back in your little kit. Flip this here thing around. And you know, a couple minutes and you're in. That's all there is to it. And I'll tell you what, if you're a car dealer, if you're a car dealer and you're having these dummies that works for you, lock keys and everything, and you are having a locksmith come down, then it's that I as a dummy and lock my keys in the car in town. It's just when it's your own thing, you can take care of it. When somebody else that's working for you does it, well, it's a problem. If you have to call a locksmith. Now, we just had this problem. It's not a problem. It's got my lockout kit. Actually, I needed a new lockout kit because I'm running down in my storage lots in California to export and this stuff. So, that's the deal. It's unlocked. It's ready to go. And this video is over. So, I'll put the links down below. Buy it if you want it. This isn't a very deep video with some good proper filming. No, it's just a quick, bam, this is how it's done. And, man, I'll tell you what. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap is what the little birdie said when he flies over my place. Yes, sir. And look at that. Brands out there. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneonacarguy.com. Check out the site. Subscribe down below. And buy this kit if you have ever had lockouts and you ever think you're going to get them or you got teenagers that are locking the door all the time. This is the way to go. It's cheap. It's easy to do. Anyone can do it. That's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.